A warm welcome to Headmaster Assembly, uh, the first of the Trinity term, and I hope that you are well uh, and that the week has gone uh, both quickly, uh, but also that it's been interesting and that you felt you've done some learning as well as some activity over the course of this week. We're going to be doing these assemblies each week, quite short hopefully, um, but just to try to keep you up to date with the news and the stories and the things that are going on, uh, but also just to clarify any messages and things that will be helpful for you as to what is likely to happen and when. And uh, as you can see, I'm also going to be filming them from different places around the school. So today I'm in the dining hall, not our usual place to have an assembly. Uh, but I thought it'd be really good for you just to be reminded about some of the places that we take for granted uh, in our everyday lives, places where we sit and we gather together. Uh, and I'm sure you've got some very fond memories of the conversations and the chats that you have had uh, and the food that you have eaten uh, in this particular room. First of all, thank you for being so engaged with your lessons. Looking at attendance registers over the course this week, it's been brilliant to see how very few lessons, given our circumstances, uh, have been missed this week. So keep going with that and well done. Particular thanks to the sixth form, upper sixth and the fifth form. Uh, you have really made that transition uh, superbly well. I'm sure it hasn't been easy, um, but with one week down and two weeks to go, uh, I hope that you've had some uh, good times in your lessons this week, that you've learned some things uh, and that you have found that to be a useful uh, time for you. Uh, it's been good to see green chits coming in and in the top five pupils this week, particularly encouraged to see a member of the sick form in there. Uh, sick form do really get engaged with the green chits uh, and see if you can put in some work this week that moves you uh, into that top five. Uh, but in the houses, the top uh, three houses this week uh, were in third place Brook Court, in second place Fields and in first place Hadley. It's all very tight there. Uh, we're going to do a weekly update on green chits, so do uh, get involved in that and just two or three chits uh, can make a massive difference to where your house sits in those standings. I would love to see photographs of where you are working and what is your desk, what is your environment. It's very hard for me uh, sitting here in Charlton. Here is a, a photograph of my particular desk. This is one that I've set up for this particular uh, occasion, this particular time. Uh, it gives me lots of natural light uh, and obviously good tech uh, to be able to help me to do my work. Um, please do send me a photograph of your desk. I don't need to see you in it, um, but I think it would be really interesting just to see a montage, uh, put together a montage of all the different places where you are working. So just a photograph of your desk, where you tend to do your schoolwork, uh, with the name of your village, your town, your city uh, on it as well. So just a simple email, photograph of your desk uh, and where you uh, live. It's been great as well to hear news about uh, universities over the course of these last uh, week or so. So congratulations to Laura uh, for securing her place to study at Glion uh, in Switzerland, uh, where Laura will be studying hospitality, one of the top courses in the world and in the most beautiful place. Uh, so congratulations to you. But also to Timur uh, and to Alex, who have secured places to study at university in America. Uh, two very different institutions have been chosen by those two. Uh, Alex has made the uh, decision to uh, leave high school and to skip straight to uh, university, an exciting time uh, for him and his family as they return to the States. Uh, but also I was delighted to hear that James and Matt uh, from Dale and Fieldhouse respectively uh, have been selected for the GB Kayak Freestyle or the GB Freestyle Kayak uh, Academy in the summer. Uh, we hope that they get the opportunity to take part in that. But a great achievement to, uh, with a sport which requires such courage and strength and skill. Uh, we can claim no responsibility uh, or credit for that as a school. Uh, it's entirely done outside of school, but it's great to be able to hear the stories of the things that you are doing. So many congratulations to you as well. And as we think about the week to come, can I really encourage you to think about the structure of your days? If you go to a garden and you look on the, the wall of a garden, very often you will see some trellis. A trellis is maybe a wooden structure, sometimes plastic structure, that enables plants to grow up. And without that structure, uh, something to cling on to, something to hold on to, uh, those plants will simply wither and die, they would not reach the sun uh, that they are seeking. And in some ways we are a little bit like that, we thrive in structure and a lot of the advice that's coming through about this particular time is to seek some structure in our lives. So can I really encourage you to have a regular time of getting up uh, in the mornings, having a decent breakfast to get yourself started, uh, working through the morning with your lessons and then the afternoons putting in something which maybe allows a little bit more freedom. So be great to see you using the afternoons to finish off any work or complete your preps, uh, to get outside and do some activity, to do something creative, uh, to maybe involve yourself in some volunteering in your community if that's appropriate uh, for you. And we've deliberately made ourselves a little bit more flexible uh, this term to try and allow you to do more things uh, and to get involved in a way that's appropriate for you. 
Uh, so please look out for opportunities, uh, both on the Dean Close at Home website, Mr Hall will talk about that a little bit later on, but also within your own areas, whatever is appropriate for you. Uh, that structure will just enable us to flourish and to come out of this stronger and better uh, than we were before. So please do look out for that. I hope this week goes well. Uh, you're now going to hear from some pupils and from some, some of my colleagues as they share a little bit about what they are doing, but also some news and some information uh, which may be useful to you. Have a really good week. Uh, I will see you all next Friday. Greetings from yet another sunny day in Cheltenham. As I was sitting in the quad at lunchtime earlier this week on what used to be um, Hatherley's favourite bench, uh, soaking up the sun, uh, I was so conscious of, of just how quiet and, and soulless the quad and of course the rest of the school felt uh, without all your chatter and, and laughter and we can't wait to see you all back again at some stage. Over the Easter break, um, there were so many pupils who were doing something out of the ordinary, and we just have four clips to show you, highlighting what some of your peers were up to. Good morning, everyone. I'm just about to start a ride on Zwift, which is why I completed my virtual Everesting challenge on Saturday. I did the ride to support NHS Charities Together, who are a charity that are currently supporting nurses and doctors, uh, in ways that the NHS aren't obliged to do. Here's a quick montage of my day. So I've been doing volunteer driving for the local co-op, my local co-op in Leckhampton. Um, so I've been delivering groceries and shopping um, to elderly people and vulnerable people with underlying health conditions. And I think this has made me um, realise, well I, I did already before, but realise that you don't always have to do something for material, for, for money, for like to get something out of it is sometimes doing something with no reward can be more rewarding than doing something for a reward. Whether you were Barnaby raising money for the amazing work of the NHS staff, Emma bringing smiles and laughter to her family and, and the passers-by, uh, Charissa helping prepare for the outbreak in the Congo, um, or Charlie delivering groceries to the vulnerable people of Cheltenham. Each and every one of them has done something out of the ordinary to help others. And this chimes so closely with our Dean Close values. I'm aware that of lots of other examples of pupils uh, making a difference in their communities. And each week we'll be featuring other pupils and the work that they have been doing. So please do keep that uh, information coming through to your house masters. Moving on to other areas of the co-curriculum, I'm hoping that many of you will take up this week's challenges that have been put forward by various departments. Next week, we will be announcing the winners of the following challenges. Mrs. Rushton has put together a really cool series of criteria for the art department's weekly photographic competition. This week, the theme is home life, which couldn't be more appropriate under the circumstances. Your response may be humorous, serious, all about the art, in colour or black and white. If you haven't already done so, do pull out the boxes of Lego and build a skyscraper and send photographs of your entry to Mr Evans or Mrs Davis in the DT department. These ones are pretty elaborate, but we do look forward to seeing your own personal interpretation.
For all the budding circus performers, check out this cool video from Mr. Powell and submit your best attempt to Mr. Babe Williams, who will judge the winner. Challenge you're going to say he was called round the wood using our bat and a tennis ball. We're going to hit the flat part of the bat, corner of the bat, first V of the bat, second, edge, back to the flat, ball goes up, cut the back of your net. I've been trying that for the last week and I still haven't mastered it. Well done, Mr. Powell. Um, we look forward to seeing all your entries for that particular competition next week. We're also going to be announcing the overall winner of the Bake Off competition, which has been running throughout the Easter holidays, as well as the winner of the Afternoon Tea Project. Even if you haven't been involved up until now, you are still able to enter next week's challenges, which can be found on the DCS at Home webpage and submitted to Mrs. Larkin Lawton. All entries for these challenges need to be in by Thursday the 30th of April at 4 p.m., which leaves us enough time to judge the winners before next Friday's mailing. All details of the challenges can be found on the DCS at Home webpage, along with all the Brook Court podcasts, chaplaincy podcasts, the music department's playlists, the details of all other co-curricular activities which are taking place each day including the online chess club, Minecraft, Philosophy Club, Strava, Dungeons and Dragons, and so much more. Just before we close, uh, I have two messages from uh, Mr. Hall. Firstly, he would like to offer his sincere thanks to all of you for the positive and supportive way in which you have embarked on the online lessons uh, again this week. We've had some fantastic um, feedback from the teachers who are really appreciative and hugely positive about the experience during the course of this week. Secondly, he would like to make an appeal to all pupils to be sensible with regard to muting and unmuting each other during online lessons. It can be rather irritating and in current circumstances we want to try and make things easier for people and not that little bit harder. So please do use your common sense. I hope you have had uh, a really constructive week. Have a restful weekend and please continue to adhere to your relevant government's guidance on uh, social distancing and staying safe. We received a video um, from our partner school, uh, Nyakatakura in Uganda, and it was one that we thought was, was worth sharing with you. Uh, it is a video of one of their pupils engaging in hand washing, and I think it's a timely reminder of how important hand washing is in terms of containing the spread of the virus. Uh, very best wishes to all of you, and uh, we look forward to being in touch with you again next week. <laughs>